What's going on with the 762 game? We got JT Kicks in the building. We got CP Productions in the background. Hey man, we really we, we just left the slushy plate, man. So disregard the, the blue, whatever color my mouth. Yeah, yeah, man. we just got some slushy. <laughs> Out of my mind, I roll up the papers at better days. I come from the bottom. Today, we got the next chapters for you guys. Um, JT Kicks. So, I know you already uh, did your video on these. Yep. Um, so, did you actually keep your pair? Um, actually, the pair that I had uh, was for a friend of mine. He basically gave me a shoe to let me do a review on it. And then I uh, you know, sent it back off to him. Or whatever. So, yeah. Man, I'm not going to lie. I really think they did. Uh, a unique job on these. Um, the guy who designed the shoe, I really feel like he had comic book fans, Spider-Man fans uh, uh, in mind when making it. Cause you know, it's not the most eye-opening shoe, you know, because there's so much going on with it. But like once you actually look at it, every little detail to the comic book panels on here, um, the Wings logo, looks like it's in the wrong universe. If you guys watch the movie, you know what that means. It's like glitching out. Um, me and CP Production, we were talking about this. What you think about it, CP? What's your favorite <clears throat> detail on it? My humble, bias opinion. My favorite detail on it would be the wings Just and the, the upper. Yeah, uh -huh. because it's showing the chaotic side of what Miles is going through with going through th different dimensions, universes, or right. whatever you want to call it. I think that's really the whole shoe as well, too. Though. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. I mean? It did pretty good. Like like you said, uh, I like from all the different materials. They leather on the side panels. Mm -hmm. You get, uh, get that new book spray on the back heel. Uh, Pattern leather on the swoosh. Hey, they, they, they came out pretty good, man. They came out pretty good. And then I also like the uh, tongue. the aged tongue as well. Mm -hmm. It's got like a, it's a pink, pink, uh, Guys, yeah, I'm gonna get close shots on it. We'll yeah. Um, also, yeah. yeah, these laces didn't come with them when you when you get the shoe. They only come with what? White black. and black? No, they only come with oh, black. Oh, they only just come with one set of uh, shoe only, laces. Only well, come with black. Yeah, black. I actually went with the sales just because of the midsole. Um, it's not a problem. That's the only thing I think they probably should have went with the sale tongue as well. I'm pretty sure he went with the pink just because I guess it went better with the uppers just overall in general. I do like that it came with a different tag on it. Also, as well, oh, yeah. when you're legit checking your pairs, if they come in, when you're legit checking, make sure everything lines up. So, especially with that red line, like the first bat, the first batch of uh, UA pairs that came up, that came out, uh, they did not line up properly with them. And then, of course, you also can do the smell test. But I'm not gonna lie, the smell test is also. I think it's it works, but. Some of these pairs that's coming out there, I think they actually uh, catching on to that and, or, you know, rim, rim, uh, catching on. You can actually, up, like I was telling you, you can actually buy, and CP, let me know if I'm wrong, you can actually buy the new uh, shoe spray and spray yeah, it in the shoe. Yeah, well, yeah. That, that's the thing. They can yeah, spray, they can spray the spray yeah, yeah. They, they, man, <laughs> he, like you said, these guys, man, they tip for tat. They got them looking tip for tat. Yeah, on, right. on the real reason, on the, on the, on the way you really want to know if they real or not, you got to put your feet in. Mm -hmm. Honestly. That's yeah, gonna, like, it don't matter what they look like. When you put your feet in, you, that'll, that'll give you an answer right there. Yeah, and I mean, this shoe's been out for a minute, so you got different videos out there to help you legit check. Uh, but uh, also, too, this shoe does glow in the dark, in the bottom. You gotta uh, activate it. You gotta yeah, activate you gotta it. activate it. Uh, I will say in my, in my, uh, what I've done, I have, I do have a black light. The black light makes it glow more so green. I don't know if it's just how the fibers in here are catching on to it or whatever. If you do have like a just super bright white light, it seems to be white. Uh, the pictures online, um, it was more so of a white light. And I do see why people did more pictures instead of videos, because videos wise, it's real, real hard to catch on there, but I also got a couple um, B-rolls that I'm going to put in there for you guys to show what I think is the best part about that, like even with him doing it, I showed CP it, uh, the best part about that, like even with him doing it, I showed CP it, uh, when you actually lay the shoe down, you got the shoe down on the ground, and you can actually see 
the outsole light up, man, like it's it's no and no better look. I don't think we got there. I don't think we got there in the shoe before. Draco J, let me ask you this. So so from you just now getting this shoe and it's been out for a little while. So are you basically telling me and CP, is this one of your grills? Like out of your whole collection to be on? I'm not gonna lie, honestly, I, I would have to say, yeah, the reason okay. why it's a shoe that's probably not gonna get worn that much. A lot of people say they're not gonna wear it. It's, it is, it's a collector shoe, just okay. for what it means. Like, the whole, from the movie to, you know, with Metro Bones, from, from the movie to, you know, with Metro Bones, from the storyline, yeah, everything. Yeah, with, with the whole uh, <clears throat> music, uh, soundtrack, everything. Like, yeah. I think they, it, it was a great movie to a great soundtrack, to a great shoe. Like, so I just had to support it, and I think this is gonna be something that, I mean, I feel like if you're a Spider-Man fan, I think you definitely need this in the vault. What you think, CP? <clears throat> so what I think about the shoe, I feel like it's definitely a shoe you double up on. Oh, yeah. oh And yeah. so, me personally, what I would do, I would keep one as a trophy. You know, if I'm gonna put it on my wall, if I'm gonna keep it in a case, what I'm gonna do right. with that one pair. The other pair will get ruined. I think this shoe is a perfect add-on piece to a simple, uh, outfit and that one shoe, that one pair of shoe, which will be the Spider Man's, will make it pop. And now, I think it, I think it'll. What you rocking with the black laces? I know I had the black laces laced up on the way, but you going with the black laces or the seal laces? I, me personally, I would go with the seal laces. Seal See, laces. I would. It's a little more seal. Yeah, it's, really it's subtle. Wrong with either one though. No, you can't. I mean, we, we, can't go, we, we got the, got the uh, backdrop picture. This is the first one. Um, first movie. Yeah. yeah, it's the first movie. But I mean, Miles, he can definitely go to. But yeah, that's all for this, and we are gonna bring you guys a couple B rolls at the end. And my favorite part of the shoe, that really what makes it the holy grail to me, is the bottoms. See, this is my first uh, glow in the dark shoe, so that's that, that just definitely set the tone and just put that shoe up there just even better for me. Um, and then especially how it glow. One more question before we get out of here. I already know the answer, but what's your scale on one to ten? <laughs> my scale on one to ten. Uh, you say you already know. Yeah. I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. We gonna, get, we gonna give you a grill or nine? Nine? I don't give. I don't <laughs> That's pretty crazy. You always give a grill or nine? I got to. That's pretty solid. You know. <clears throat> For me, I'm gonna give it a living out of ten. Come on, that's, that's my boy, man. That's my boy, man. But look, he's biased though. Which, <laughs> oh, no, don't try to get out of here. Which, which, uh, what you give? I'm going ten out of ten, man. Ten out of ten. I'm going ten out of ten. What you yeah, we got CP uh, Productions in the background. We got JT Kicks. Man, 762 gang, we'll catch back with you. We out. Peace. I'm trapping a block in a better place. Pull up and find us, switch to the ground, found better ways. Wish mama could see us, she left me here in a better place.